Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights 2 Mysteries of Westgate. This is Big Loose. And off camera, I came back out here to the Arena District. We're about to head to the Brotherhood of the Ferret. So why don't we get these black robes on, everybody? Absolutely. I can do that. Sure. Yes. There we go. Now we'll head on over there. I put the short sword back into Aenea's hand because we are going to engage in some close quarters combat. Oh, there's a protester here. Hail, give me a moment of your time. Let's see if she has anything. Protesters everywhere must fight the excesses of the rich and powerful. Psst. You there. How would you like to sign a petition in protest of a great injustice? What petition? What injustice? The council, I'm trying to have them recalled. They're all crooks. So I say we vote them all out. And just, how do you think you're going to vote out the council? There's no vote. She looks around conspiratorially and leans in with a whisper. That's what they want you to think, hmm? What's that supposed to mean? The people will always triumph, of course. Now, are you in or out? Fine, you convince me, and we'll sign the petition. Oh, however, we are not a resident, so it's probably non-binding. Excellent, you have just made a difference in this city, I tell you. You could be proud of yourself. Now, excuse me, but I need to get some sleep. Fighting the system is absolutely wearing me out. Whoa. How did we get here? Must be those bugs again. And there's some well here, but it doesn't look like we can interact with it. Did we get any gold? No. How about over here? No, it's completely random whether someone has gold or not. Let's bash it. A voice from behind the door yells at you. Hmm, right. Welcome, sister. Now, before I let you in, I must hear you speak the password. Password? Why do we need a password? Well, it's traditional, ain't it? You speak the password, I open the door. Wouldn't be much of a secret cult without an easily guessed password, would it? Skip important details like that and everything starts to break down if you ask me. It's tradition. Tradition! What? The password is tradition? Tradition? No, it's min... Uh, right, I get you. I was speaking in generalities. What I mean is, without doing things properly, you might as well not do them at all. Take you for example. You show up here dressed in all black like you're supposed to, but I ain't heard your voice before, and I've been a member of this cult since the start. That ought to set alarm bells ringing, right? Thing is... What kind of evil cultist would I be if I didn't l let in anyone with the correct uniform who luckily guessed the password? Might as well ask what I'm doing here, a cold draft billowing up these robes when I could be at home relaxing by the fire. It ain't healthy to look too deeply into things, you see. Things are as they are, and it behooves one an easy life not to ask unnecessary questions, right? So, what's the password? Uh... Mintok? That's the name of the ferret who they're going to summon. Yes. Yes, that's the password. Enter, brethren. Alright. Are you all ready? Let's go on inside. Now, I play tested this earlier, and there's two ways you can go about doing it. And I'm going to do it to gain maximum XP. You could do it another way and you won't get as much XP, but you'll still complete the mission. So 
first we're gonna put our armor back on. If you need something looted, I'm your woman. Evil beware. I am in charge now. And we'll have you put shield of faith on everybody. See how long does blood last? 60 seconds per level? Yeah, we can do that too. Seconds per level. We'll do that as well. I'm ready if you need me. Unfortunately, your shield. Oh, that also. Sorry, sorry. 60 seconds per level, but you're level one, so that's only gonna last a minute. You're level sure. eight, so that lasts eight minutes. I'm ready if you need me. All right, let's do this thing. In here, like outside, it's completely random whether if anybody has any items on them that you can rob. The second time I did this, nobody had anything. The first time I did it, about half of them had some gold on them. The summoning is nigh. The great ferret shall soon walk among us. This guy just had one gold piece. Mintax Rebirth is nigh. Not even blue can thwart our plans. Yes. What Soon the, sh uh, the city shall fall beneath the tide of fur. <laughs> yes. The Grand what Whisker is truly wise. Now this guy, he always seems to have a dagger on him. And we got it again. There's the dagger. Let's see if he has anything else on him. Yeah, he had 20 gold pieces on him. We were able to get all of it because we rolled a 33. And our sleight of hand was a fa failure that time. Welcome, brother. Or is it sister? It's hard to tell beneath these robes. You say the same thing. Not roll above the one. Yes. You don't have anything. Let's try this one more time. Nothing. Okay, let's turn on automatic hiding. Always be stealthy. Stealthy until next encounter. Automatic hiding is on. Well, which one is it? Overkill or scale? There we go. Yes. You if you need your... something looted, okay. I'm your woman. I think we're ready to go about the loose. So let's talk to this guy. Ah, uh, mm, yes. Welcome to the Brotherhood. You must be one of our new initiates, yes? Mm, tell me, how did you come to learn of us? Our cult prides itself on misdirection. Witness these robes, the culture of supreme secrecy that only adds to our mystique. Hmm? How? Hmm? The great Mentak visited me in my dreams and showed me the true path. Yes, yes, the great Mintak has chosen you. I can see it now. You have been sent to fulfill the prophecy. I am the Grand Whisker, High Priest of the Cult and Master of Ceremonies. You are just in time to witness the summoning, sister. Mintak's rebirth in the mortal realm shall be complete. It begins now. Now it is time to eat the sacred berry. You, new initiate, you can go first. Swallow it whole and allow the glory of Mintak to consume your mind. Now this gets you more experience by picking the second option. I'm not eating that. 
Sacrilege! You refuse to eat the wondrous berry that will open your mind to the great Mintek? Then you are an unbeliever who deserves only death. Great Mintek, show this fool the true measure of her folly. A purple ferret? My lord, what is the matter? Smite the unbeliever. Scatter her limbs to the four corners of Toril. Rend her flesh from her bones and use them to pick clean your mighty fangs. Meh? Yes, yes, I understand. You wish your humble followers to slay the infidel rather than sully your own mighty jaws in such filth. Very well, great one. Watch as we slay this traitor in your name. Brethren, attack her. Alright, so... The one who we want to get rid of first is this guy, the Grand Whisper. Blood flame. Ah, there Everyone are the else is secondary, now. and yes, you're casting that, that's good. Gods curse you! We want to get away and go into stealth mode. <laughs> that doesn't... Save you now. That won't get these guys to stop attacking because their spot check is pretty darn high, so... Let's see if we can get a sneak attack on anybody. Where is the, the Grand Whisker? There he is. Die. Die and be forgotten! Just die already! Alright, he's dead. Why are these guys not doing anything? See, we got 336 XP. Now we can go on and attack these guys. Stab them in the back. I wonder if we can kill anybody? Let's get this guy in the back. Oh, not necessary. Looks like we got a couple here who are dazed or something. Alright, get this guy. Sneak attack. Where's my sneak attack? Now, if you choose the method where you eat the berry, then the ferret will grow larger, but the hamster in your inventory will grow large too, and the hamster will kill everybody. And you won't get the experience of killing all these people. And then the ferret will thank you and give you 1500 XP. However, we didn't get 1500 XP. We have to go somewhere to go get that. Alright, so we get a Ring of Protection plus 3 and a Staff of Command. What does this thing do? You can do Charm Monster, Charm Person, or Dominate Person. So we'll take that. And I guess we'll put the ring on. Who needs a ring of protection plus one? I think you do. Yes. I thought I just gave that to you. I can do that. Absolutely. I'll take the lead. Oh yeah. You gotta take it off first before you give it to somebody. Oh, all these people were poisoned from. If you need Renara. something looted, I'm your woman. Got it. All right, Renara. You don't have to do automatic hiding anymore. Yes. All right, I believe that's all that we can get in here. There's a door open here. Well, there's a door that's closed that you can open, but once you go inside, 
I haven't found anything in here. There's no treasure, no chests, no barrels that you can loot. Just a minor detail, so let's leave. And then we will go to that garbage pile where that hole was, and then we'll go in there and we'll eat a berry from that tree that's inside. And then after that, I guess we can head to the arena district and get our XP for getting dimples back. Looks like everyone's shield of faith is wearing off. Yep, that's the last one. Alright. Here's the garbage. Yes, let's enter the hole. Shouldn't take too long. Here we go. And we'll eat a berry and then we will make that hamster grow large again. Is it all hallucination or what? Here's the Rashimi hamster. You've done it, Ania. You have stopped the Brotherhood's evil plan and shattered the prophecy of the Bloody Finger. <laughs> yeah, when the when the ferret Mintak grows big, they chant, Bite the thumb! Bite the thumb! I was laughing when that happened. Now it is time for us to part ways. But know that wherever you go, and wherever you see a tiny pinprick of eyes in the dark, we shall be watching you. Fare thee well, hamster friend. So there goes the hamster. We got our 1500 XP. Plus we got a whole bunch of more XP than we normally would have got for fighting those guys. Very good. And I think we should probably rest to restore our spells. We'll restore our hit points. Actually, I didn't see any hit points that were lost, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just forgetting. So, let's go to the arena exit, or the arena south gate, whatever it is. And I think we could go directly to the Black Eye Tavern from here. And nobody seems to have anything. Yeah, let's go directly there. And then after that, I guess we will go to Ozuko, or is it Okuzo? Ozuko's Imports. And we'll tell her that meeting with Dahlia Erdo was a complete waste of time. And we'll just see where that goes. Oh, you mean it wouldn't put me in the tavern? That's stupid. All right, we need to talk to Marv. Hey there, so have you seen Dimples around? She's fine. She stopped coming into work because she twisted her ankle. No fooling. How'd she do that? And why didn't she tell me? And most important, when is she coming back? Let's see, we could tell on her. Nah, let's just keep her secret for her. She'll be coming back soon, that's all you need to know. Indeed it is. I'll just have to ask her all about it when she comes back to work. And then, of course, she'll tell me to mind my own business. But who cares? She's coming back and that's what matters. We got 500 XP. Thanks for looking into this for me. Here, take these potions as a reward. 
I keep him around just in case I get into a serious brawl. But it ain't likely I'll ever need him. Uh, I don't think I need any potions. You better keep them just in case. And that shifts our alignment one point towards the good. Heh, truth be told, you look like you need them less than I do. I'm glad you're one of the good people. I see little Davy eyeing me over there. Best get back to work, which means standing here watching over things. Best of luck to you, friend. Alright, so we completed Dimples the Dancer and Brotherhood of the Ferret. Oh, it's Okuzo, not Uzuko. Okay. Oh, can we talk to this guy again? This weirdo? Oh, it's the lover again. Come to steal more of me light, have ye? What sort of business are you in? Well, if you're with the town guards, I'm a pirate hunter. If you're not, then I'm into anything that's, shall we say, lucrative. I see. Well, I have much to do, so I'll leave you to your drink. All right. Seems like it says the same thing as before. You don't have any more money, do you? No. And we can't even roll above a one. I seem to roll that more often than not. All right. Let's take everyone with us. I wonder if we get another companion, and, and then we'll have to decide who not to take with us. But for right now, we could take everyone with this. All these locked doors, and we can't open them. And nobody has any money to steal. Everyone is poor. Oh, that's right. We could probably steal from her. You got nothing. Hello. Greetings, Ania Freya. It is pleasant to see you again. Dahlia Erdo refuses to back down. It does not surprise me. Do not blame yourself, Ania Freya. This woman is very difficult to understand. Unfortunately, I'm sure I will have to deal with her again in the future. I thank you for your efforts. And I don't think we got any XP for that. Is there anything interesting we want to buy? Does this do anything? It makes a green light. That's about it. All right, can we sell anything? No, and you know what? I have this belt that hasn't been identified yet, so let's put the identify spell into one of the slots. And then next time we rest, we'll be able to identify it. All right, let's go back to the let's go back to the market triangle. There was a house that was on fire. Let's see if it burned itself out. We already checked out that statue. Yeah, we want to go to the East Gate. So are there only three places to go in this whole game? Well, four places if you include the Undergate. If so, I'm a little bit disappointed, but eh, not really. You can't even go out into the world, huh? Oh, I 
think this place is burned out. Say, citizen, you wouldn't happen to have a toothpick, would you? I seem to have gotten something stuck in my teeth. The watch guard picks vigorously inside his mouth with grimy fingers. Must have been that meat on a stick I bought this morning. It smelled tasty enough. Come to think of it, I don't even know what kind of meat it was. Ha! Huh, what a riot. Aren't your teeth rather insignificant compared to the giant explosion that just gutted this house? Eh? Perhaps. What of it? Or you didn't say that you had that toothpick, did you? I didn't catch your answer. I can't believe you're worried about your teeth when there could be people dying in there. Boy, watch your mouth, you. My teeth be serious business. And anyways... That there is an abandoned house. There's no need to worry. What about the fire? Or there's certain there certainly won't be anything in there. Won't be anything in there for much longer. In any event, nothing alive. That is. Yeah, I figure if the building didn't get him, the fire will. Though it looks to be simmering down quite nicely, I must say. Maybe I'll be able to fabricate a toothpick from some of this debris. There've got to be some splinters down here somewhere. Shouldn't you at least go inside and check to make sure no one survived and needs rescuing? You're joking, I hope, in there? In that death trap? I already told you, it's abandoned. Everybody knows that. No use risking my hide when I know there's no one to rescue. And, as I said, if there was anyone in there, they're dead now. Well, shouldn't you be doing something? Now look here, for your information, I am doing something. I'm actively monitoring the situation. And as part of this active monitoring, I'm going to be forced to ask you, innocent bystander that you are, to move along. Nothing to see here. Well, can't we go in? Oh, we have an option to enter the building here. Then whiffs of smoke rise from the smoldering ashes of what once was a heavy wooden door. Hmm, making a toothpick out of fire was harder than it sounds, you know. I think I just got a splinter. Alright, so we could go in there and investigate. We could check over here and see if there's anything going on. Oh, there's a statue over there. Let's check it out. Get some 50 XP for that. Statue of Elias or Alias. The statue depicts a young, attractive woman crouched in a combat stance. The statue is of recent construction, but even so, it is surprisingly clean and unweathered. And we got something called a player hide. Read the inscription. This monument stands to honor Alias the Sellsword, who stood to honor Westgate with her great deeds in the year of the banner. 1368 Dale Reckoning. Let's spit on the statue, and we got 50 XP. Just as your projectile is about to hit the statue, it abruptly changes course and splatters harmlessly on the ground. Suddenly, the letters in the statue's inscription shift before your eyes, momentarily forming a new message. The statue is magically protected from Night Mask and other destructive forces by Mutassin the Magnificent. Yes, we know about him. So let's leave. These people have anything? Yes. As you pass before this block of buildings, you feel a sudden chill go down your spine. You're experiencing the all-too-familiar sensation of being watched. You let your gaze wander around the area, pretending to simply be taking in the scenery so as not to, so as to not alert your watcher that you have detected them. Suddenly, a, a flicker of movement in one of the upper story windows of the building in front of you makes you do a double take. 
where you could have sworn that when you first let your eyes drift by that window, you had seen the pale, almost ghostly visage of a child with an expression of utmost terror and panic on his face and his mouth open in a silent scream. But then when you look back, just a split second after registering what you saw, the window was inconceivably, almost mockingly empty. That is weird now, isn't it? And you have nothing. What about you? You have nothing. So what did we get here? A player hide? Where is it? Let's organize everything. So where is it? Acquired item player hide. Um, we don't have a player hide. And if we do, it's not an item. Sure. Anybody else get one? No, you can wear that. I can do that. Yes. Actually, you know what? My steel shall you lead the way. Work. Absolutely. I don't have it either. Well, I'm not exactly yes. sure what we got, but we did get this history feat in tourists. Your lust for exploration has allowed you to learn much about the city. Well, some disdain your indulgence of every tourist trap that your eyes you you set your eyes upon you never know when that which is learned might prove useful oh we can actually go into this house right here here's a barrel and an empty wine bottle it's like a trash can all right well we can explore in here to see what's going on we can explore that gutted building but We'll have to do it next time because we are running up on time. And I do want to end the episode and save the game. So, this is Big Lose signing off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And, Tango Umbendia.